Uh, when I was growing up, I read a lot of uh, biographies and autobiographies. You know, I was fascinated by a lot of uh, historical figures. The computer field was quite young, uh, but already uh, there were people like Ken Olson, uh, Gordon Bell, uh, who'd done incredible work. I think we've got a wonderful story. The evolution of computing has been a great, great thing, and I happen to believe that uh, the computer is the greatest invention uh, ever. I like the history, even before my time, machines that I had barely heard of, actually going and seeing what they look like, physical sizes, and looking at some of the nomenclature on the switches and thinking about the people that used them. The semiconductor industry has made bigger changes in a few decades than printing has over a few centuries. When I was a student at MIT, we all shared a computer. It took up half a building. It's an IBM 7094. Maybe it's here. It costs tens of millions of dollars. The computer in your cell phone today is a million times cheaper and a thousand times more powerful. We are recording the events of history contemporaneously with them happening. Rarely in history do you have a chance to do that. Wouldn't you love to be able to hear Michelangelo talk about what it was like to paint the Sistine Chapel? This is a remarkable place. You know, I support the heck out of it. I really think it's uh, an important thing. That's what a museum is about, is being able to understand the history of, what one, of what's been happening and, and to see it and feel it. When I was a graduate student and I was complaining about the borough's architecture, my faculty member told me, study it. There's something exceptional in there that got it to be successful. You need to know what that is. That's what the Computer History Museum is all about. The Computer History Museum is now building a major new exhibition that will open at the end of the year. An entire first floor wing of the museum will host the exhibition. Its name is Revolution, the first 2,000 years of computing. Revolution is designed to tell the sweeping story of the history of computing, from the abacus to the smartphone and everything in between. The $17 million expansion will fill more than 25,000 square feet. It will feature 19 galleries and three state-of-the-art digital theaters. More than 1,000 of the museum's best artifacts will be on display. The exhibition will be a rich multimedia experience. We're mining our deep archives of film, images, and never-before-seen photographs to bring the technology and story of computing to life. More than 100 media productions will feature rare footage from corporate archives and vintage interviews with the legends from the computing industry, along with many of the museum's own Fellows Award recipients. Revolution will look and feel contemporary, engaging and alive with history. It's been years in the making and is now under construction. Where will you go to see Silicon Valley? The answer is revolution. The first 2,000 years of computing. Coming this year at the Computer History Museum. <laughs>